Hey guys, what's up? Gus here again, and um, today, well not today, past week or so I'd say, I've been playing Borderlands, and um, that's Borderlands, and I gotta say, taking a break off Call of Duty has been awesome. Um, it's been probably one of the happiest uh, weeks of my life, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm also not gonna lie on the fact that me playing a different game in Call of Duty, um, it has me excited to go back to it. Um, I haven't quite beat Borderlands yet. Uh, pretty close to. I think I, I only have like two bosses left to beat, and I'm a level 29 um, soldier right now. And uh, so I'm pr really, really close to beating it. Um, it's been a great ride. It's been a lot of fun. Um, playing through it with my friend, Will, who I recorded a dual commentary with uh, in my latest video, my last video. It was the COD4 MP5 video. Yeah, um, his gamer tag is Hellboy0011. But yeah, anyway, so... Um... The topic I want to cover in this video is, is just the fact that I think everyone needs to take a break from Call of Duty, whether it be a week, two weeks, or a month, maybe even until Black Ops comes out, they'll be pushing it though, but um, I think everyone at some point needs to take a break off this game uh, of Call of Duty, you know, any any of the Call of Duties in general, because I've been, I was playing Modern Warfare 2, like, I had what I like to call tunnel vision on that game, like, that was the only game I played for probably two or three months straight. Legit, I did not pop in any other game into my Xbox 360 console during that two, three month span, other than Modern Warfare 2. And I, I found um, semi-relief by switching to COD 4 and World at War. But until you get to a certain point, I mean, you know, you have to realize that those games are also Call of Duty, so, you know, that's not, that's not full relief from the Call of Duty series, so I uh, took it an extra step forward, another step, I guess you could say, and I went out and bought a game that I've been wanting to buy for a long time now, and this game is Borderlands. Uh, I tried them. Obviously, it's not Red Dead M. I rarely ever will you see me not playing a Red Dead M game, um, just because all other T games and E games are just simply inferior. <clears throat> not really, but I mean, the majority of the good games out right now are uh, are M rated. But yeah, I've been loving the living fuck, fuck China. I've been loving the tits off this game. This game is really fucking awesome. Um, I have no complaints about this game. I love RPGs. And this takes like a fun twist to an RPG. And um, you'll notice the art style looks cartoony. But I mean honestly, and I think uh, Will will agree with me, We've both grown to, to love this art style. Um, I don't know, just everything about this game is just awesome. It's a first-person shooter. You get XP when you kill people. And there's such a wide variety of guns. Like, it makes it so much fun looting. Like, you can see, I'm just whipping out guns, like electricity guns, explosive guns. I'm just having a blast with this game. And, like, there's over, I'd say there's over, easily over 250 weapons. I haven't even discovered all the weapons yet because this is my only fir only my first playthrough. And I do uh, plan on playing it through, playing it through again. But, uh, yeah, they have, the level cap is 50, and then if you buy the DLC, um, it raises the level cap to 61. And, um, so by the time I finish the campaign of this game, I'll be a level, 
30, 32, somewhere around there. And then what you can do is you can go and play the campaign over again. Uh, with that same character, you keep all the same weapons and your same level. And uh, so that can help you um, get up to level 50. And then also just doing all the side quests. There's um, an infinite amount of side quests. Um, if you stay along the main path of the game, you can you can beat it, you know, uh, without too much trouble. But there's it's just an insane amount of side quests. And um, let's see, I think this is yeah coming to a close here. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to discuss the fact that we all need to take a break from Call of Duty because we all get tunnel vision, and I had it for so long. And it sucked because I was in this phase where the only game I was playing was Call of Duty. It sucks. Go buy another game. Experience another game. I can't even tell you how good it feels to play a different game besides Call of Duty. I cannot tell you how good it feels. Um, yeah, just go try it out. I mean, I can't lecture you guys anymore. Just go buy another game for God's sake. For vagina's sake, go buy another game. It's sad the amount of people playing Call of Duty just acting like as this, like not even giving other games a chance, acting as if it's the only game that exists. Go buy another game. There are so much better games, so much more fun games. I enjoyed playing this game. I had a good ass time. Okay, go play other games. Enjoy yourself while you're playing your Xbox or PS3.